Two people are injured but alive after their plane crashed outside of Oshkosh. Authorities carted away the wreckage tonight. Continuing coverage of that crash tops tonight's Fox 11 News at 9. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. Oshkosh Fire Rescue says the injuries to the pilot and the passenger are not life-threatening. The crash happened near Oshkosh about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Happened at a small airstrip adjacent to the Hickory Oaks Campground, which is just south of the state prison. Fox 11's Alex Ronaldo tonight brings us more details on what for neighbors was a scary incident. Bonnie Youngworth's house is across the street from the Hickory Oaks runway. She says she's used to planes overhead, but that Wednesday's crash was a scare. Kind of freaky because last night they were flying over and I'm like, you know, I hope someday they don't crash into my house. Youngworth is thankful that's not what happened. Oh, very, very mm -hmm. thankful. Mm -hmm. I mean, they they usually start going up, you know, right after work and they're going till dark and you hear them, they're flying low. The Oshkosh Fire Department says the plane made it to the campground airstrip when something went wrong. He was actually attempting to land here and just lost power at the entrance to the runway and uh, crashed at the beginning of the runway. The pilot and passenger are brothers from Kentucky. They were flying into Oshkosh from Illinois Wednesday. There was two people that we transported to a local hospital that had uh, non-life-threatening injuries. The National Transportation Safety Board says the plane is a single-engine two-seater that was built from a kit. It's unclear why it lost power. Three uh, things uh, we're going to look at is the pilot, the weather that was occurring at the time, and uh, the aircraft. The NTSB says the plane was heavily damaged. The left wing was separated from the aircraft. Uh, the nose engine of the aircraft was uh, pushed afterward. Youngworth says she's hoping for a swift recovery for the two men inside. Just so they're okay, that's the main thing. In the town of Oshkosh, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News. The federal investigators said to expect some answers in about a week, but maybe a year for their full report.